Commissioner Ritz, you were one of the first in line. What brought you down here? Uh, I knew D. Army for the last 15 or 20 years, worked with him on a lot of different things, including when he was a judge, I was a county commissioner. What were you working on when you left the office today? Uh, when I left office today, I was actually working on some issues, interestingly enough, that have to do with solid waste and our sanitation workers. Oh, wow. Uh, it, just, it just so happened that that was one of the projects that I was working on right before I left. So I think it's fitting that uh, the legacy that's commemorated here is one that we hope to continue uh, at the city and making real the kind of things that uh, the Army uh, stood for. What was your biggest impression of him? His intellect. His intellect. He was a very, very well-read and bright man. He knew a lot. He, was, he wrote well. He was just a very intelligent jurist. You know, I just think he was a tremendous human being. He was on the battlefield for justice uh, and was able to touch people in so many different ways. I think the, the beauty of him is sometimes people have a vision, but he was able to carry that vision out, you know, in so many different ways. And so uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Judge Bailey. Well, we know that about 70% of our guests come from more than 120 miles away. So we get a lot more visitors from out of town than we do from right around this, this area. But that's not unusual for museums. Um, and we are exposing people to names and faces that they have never heard of. And I actually was, um, I have received a number of uh, emails from people who say, you know, we're really, you have our condolences on the loss of Judge Bailey, but I don't think that people recognize the breadth of his work because his work wasn't just here in, in Memphis. His his work impacted, you know, Massachusetts. His work impacted California, and and so I, I think that people don't really know the breadth of the work that he did.